welcome to Variety Varnish. My name is Sheila and today we are doing our wish list for Polish Pickup May 2020 and the theme for this month is Candyland. If you guys don't know about Polish Pickup, this is a uh, a polish event online at polishpickup.com where a bunch of indie nail polish makers come together and create a nail polish uh, for a certain theme and uh, I will link all the information down below. I don't want to make this um, introduction long over what polish pickup is. A lot of us already know it and if you're new all the information are down below in the description box. So what makes it hard this month is that it seems that there are a lot of polishes that kind of came from other formulas and other similar polishes that we all know and love. So if you're a collector like myself, I do feel compelled to pick up the polishes that have similar formulas to well-loved polishes in the past, whether it was a PPU release or, you know, otherwise. And so that's really the challenging part. Of course, there's always going to be a lot of beautiful polishes at Polish Pickup, but for me, that really is um, the tipping point where there's just so many polishes that are reminiscent of previous releases that I absolutely love and I'm going to be having a hard time resisting those polishes and so yeah we're going to take a look at my wish list and we're going to go ahead and get started. So the first polish I have for you guys is from Watcha and this is Candy Cake and this is a light pink crelly with candy metallic glitters and golden flakes. This does have a cap of 200 US. Um, I have been following this brand for the longest time you guys. I follow their Instagram. I know that they are a brand out of Brazil I believe. Just beautiful polishes that come out from this brand. I'm so I really want to try them out for polish pickup this month and look at this beautiful Crelly. Pink is definitely my color of the year and it's just a very well done polish in my opinion. And so let's see if it makes the cut but this is so beautiful. The next polish I have is obviously Polished for Days, Peach of My Heart. And this is a peachy jelly base packed with glowing pink, yellow, green, iridescent shifting flakes. And this has no cap. And the reason why I really want this polish, you guys, is because this is the same formulation as Long Live the King, Seeing is Believing, and Fireside. And I am absolutely, totally in love with this formulation formula and also the collector in me just wants all of these polish like every time Jenna releases this formulation with just the plain flaky pack to goodness I want them all in every color that she releases them and of course polished for days you really can't go wrong and so I know there are two or actually there are a couple of other peachy colors out this month but this is something that I really feel I need in my life and this is polished for days peach of my heart. Now the next polish I have for you is Rogue Lacquer and this is Jawbreaker and I just had my first experience from Rogue Lacquer which was last month's open water and I absolutely loved it. So I'm super excited for this offering and this is a white crelly base packed with metallic red, gold, and blue micro flakes. Now what I love about this is that it kind of has that red, white, and blue vibe but at the same time it's so classy looking and that gold uh, glitter and the gold flakes in there I mean it's just so stunning. I know I'm gonna absolutely love this polish and so the only thing is that I have way too many white curlies in my life. Do I really need one more? But it is so beautiful you guys and so this is Rogue Lacquer's Jawbreaker. And then the next polish I have for you is Poetry Cowgirl's Peppermint Stick. And look at that, you guys. This is such a beautiful sort of minty green uh, packed with red gold shifting shimmer and a hint of red green aurora pigment. Now this is a total FOMO polish for me because a few months back I passed on Native War Paints, um, that purple shimmer. 
I think it's called Blooming Blossoms or something like that. And I am super regretting it. And now I'm like buying everything I see that has that same shimmer. And mint green is always something that I absolutely love. I love like mint green shades, especially in the spring. And so, yeah, this is a contender for sure. And this is Poetry Cowgirl's Peppermint Stick. The next polish I have for you is Lemming Lacquer's Eats Peanut Butter Chocolate Time. And guys, you know how I am with earthy colors. Just so unique and so beautiful. And this is a chocolate hollow with multi-chrome shimmer, shifting red, bronze, copper, and gold. I don't even know that I could resist this polish, to be perfectly honest. The last time I resisted a polish like this, it was Ethereal's Caramel, and I went bonkers trying to look for it. And I finally have it, and I love it. And so, I don't know, you guys. This is so beautifully done. I love the unique hollow. I feel like this is going to be my Idris Elba polish. And this is Lemming Lacquer's It's Peanut Butter Chocolate Time. Now, of course, the next polish I have for you is the KB Shimmer Fruit Slices Yummy Yummy. And this formulation is the same formulation as Soul What, which was a PPU offering way back a few months back with the purple and the flakies. And I also actually bought the Soul Blue, which was a limited edition, same formulation, sort of blue version of Soul What. And now they are giving us this sort of peachy formulation of, um, you know, bright coral, uh, jelly polish with these flakes, the same flakes as the ones that were in Soul What and in Soul Blue. And so again, that collector in me wants every polish released in this formulation. And so, but then of course, you know, do I really need two peaches? Peaches are my weakest color, so I don't even know. And that is KB Shimmer's Fruit Slices Yummy Yummy. And then the next polish that I have for you is Ethereal Lacquer's Banana. And I mean, another collector situation for me. This is a beautiful, like, banana yellow with a red copper to green shifting shimmer. Now, I don't have all Ethereal shimmers because, you know, her shimmers are just, there's a lot of them and they're beautiful, but I do have ones that I really love such as guava and I have mango and I feel like I need this in my life because of course how am I going to say no to a beautiful yellow shimmer that I know is going to have a beautiful formula and so this is probably going to be a really really like good contender for this month and this is ethereal's banana and then the next polish I have is Cadillac's Charlie. And Charlie is this beautiful thermal that is sort of purple. I think it's a trithermal. It's purple when it's um, hot. It's pink when it's warm and it's dark gray when it's cold. Now, I live in a coldish place, so what attracts me the most about this polish is that dark gray cold state. I think it's super unique. I think it will make a beautiful gradient. But then, do I really need another thermal polish from Cadillac? Or, um, you know, I have had the pleasure of trying on MJ Lacquer's thermals and they are equally as good. It's just, you know, a, a unique coloration. So I don't know, but that's Cadillac's Charlie. And last but not the least on my wish list is uh, Bluebird Lacquer's, I think this is like a body balm. It's called Bows, Knees, and Toes. Uh, it's an all over body balm, but I love this because I need something for my super dry Sahara Desert feet. Like literally my feet are cracking from dryness and I am allergic to beeswax and this actually does not have beeswax it has candelia wax which I'm super happy about 
and it's very rare that you have products like this that don't have beeswax so if you're allergic to beeswax keep this in mind this is a great offering so that's it you guys that's my wish list for May's polish pickup with the theme Candyland and again polish pickup starts on May 1st at 11 in the morning Eastern Standard Time and this will be until May 4th um, I think it's also 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So comment down below what is in your wish list. It's always fun to do these things. And I'm really super excited to see if I had missed out on or if I didn't notice anything that you guys noticed. Or if you do plan to pick up any of these polishes or items in my wish list comment down below i always love our polish pickup discussions it's literally my favorite part of the month and so yeah if you haven't already please consider subscribing so we can talk more about anything and everything nail polish the bell button is for notifications and happy wish listing happy shopping and i will see you again in my next video have a great day bye